welcome to POS drill number three. Now we're going to get a little more complicated. We're going to start adding modifiers, which happens quite often in restaurants. People will want to change, you know, make it their own. Um, so we'll start to learn how to do that. So we'll go through the ticket. We're going to also learn how to do the equal pay. So when two people just want to split the check or a four top, we want to split it in half. We can do that. So we're going to go in. Be one on four, we'll up number 25, four guests. So we're going to the drinks. We've got Diet Pepsi, iced tea, coffee, and a dark beer. So we're going to go up here. And it, beers go from lightest to darkest on the menu. So the darkest is the milk stout. So we'll go with the milk stout. And then we we'll go ahead and send it. And that again will come up to the front desk. Milk stout. Then we'll go ahead and serve that and get the food order. First one is mixed green salad and they want dressing on the side. So you could go um, dressing on the side and then over here it says dressing on the side. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So we're done with that. And then the next one is green salad and they gluten free. So no croutons or anything. So we'll put gluten free. Next one is a tart, and the next one is a soup. So there's your first course. So we'll go ahead and send that. We'll go into the second course. We'll get a steak. They want it well, and they want no starch, but sub vegetable. So we're gonna go back into the steak. Quick mod, no starch extra veg but if you go extra veg it's going to charge them an extra dollar so let's get rid of that and we're going to sub vegetables so since they're not getting starch they're getting extra vegetables we don't want to charge them extra so sub will work for that then you get done the fish grilled and then they want extra sauce so now we'll charge them an extra dollar and remember they are gluten free get done now they want the, the salad or actually they want the tart as an entree so you're going to order the tart and then you're going to switch it because it thinks it's course one so you're going to switch it to course two so it'll move it down here and then just so the kitchen knows that that's what you want you can go to as entree so it's now it's going to come with the entrees and it will say as entree so you're good there then you're going to go to co back to course two get your steak medium and they want extra sauce because who doesn't want extra sauce and that's good then we're going to go to court course three we'll get the sor sorbet espresso i'd like i need some espresso this afternoon so I'm hitting espresso. Then we're going to go to a dome. Vanilla ice cream, but they want a little different. So they want one scoop of vanilla, two scoops of chocolate. So then you're going to go to special request. One vanilla, give it a space, and then two chocolate. Because they get three scoops. So I say one vanilla, two chocolate at request. So that way the kitchen knows that they want one scoop of vanilla, two chocolate. So then you hit done. So then you can get out of the ticket, but again, you're gonna pick up your first course. Might as well send your second course. So hit send, it's gonna hit course two. So now you're gonna go pick up your first course, serve your second course. And let's just take a look at the kitchen printer for a second. So we've got the first course, we've got the mixed greens, gluten free, the tart. And it's on order, it's been in for 12 minutes. The second course has been fired. And that's usually a good spread, about 10 minutes. So this should be up, should be up right about now. This should be up in about 10 minutes. And then the kitchen can see that this is on hold. But that's really nice if it's for entrees, if it's on hold, you haven't fired this yet, they can at least see, you know, what's coming down the line. So anyways, I just wanted to quick show you that. And we'll get back to the dining room. And after you pick up your food, 
you'll go through the door, open it, shoot. And usually there's people out here, but right now there's no people. But anyways, and get ready to serve your food. So we'll come back in. And then as the kitchen clears, this screen will come up letting you know dishes for what table, what are up. So if that, you can just clear them one by one, or you can just hit clear. Then we'll go into our ticket. So everything's been fired. It's, so you go into pay. And the customer's informed you that they want to just split it in half. Split. And it's just going to be split in half. What you can do then is it's going to split it in half. So it's $93, $46. So then you'd run run credit card or cash. Let's just go cash. And then remaining balance is $46.67 again. And if you want to do a receipt. And that's, it is nice to run a receipt for people so then they can see you know, what the total bill is and what they're paying. Cash again, no receipt. And that's it for point of sale number three. Your turn.